I'm not crying. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Lily and Sally. Guess where we are today? We're at the Blue Mountains. Blue Mountains. Look. Look. Catching public transport to the Blue Mountains is very easy. You can simply train from Central Station to the Blue Mountains, or Katoomba in our case, using the intercity train, which takes about two hours. Fares of all public transports for the day, including both trains and buses, are actually very cheap. We used to have the option of getting the Blue Mountains Explorer bus. Unfortunately, it closed indefinitely due to COVID. The bus stop for public buses is located just around the corner. You simply need to look out for this particular bus stop sign and catch the 686 buses, which is a frequent loop service around Katoomba. It will take you around to all the main tourist spots in the area. But just in time for some beautiful autumn leaves. The weather is absolutely beautiful here today, although it's just a little bit chilly. So our first stop today is Echo Point. If it's your first time here, there's an information centre for tourists just located immediately opposite the bus stop. Here at the Echo Point, we have the iconic and historical view of the Three Sisters. Look at the spectacular scenery. Anyways, let's have lunch. There is a building of restaurants just at the bus stop we got off. Now for a quick stroll to the Three Sisters. Second, this is yeah, really good. Good, this is amazing. Uh, Kiwi's friend. Hello. 
So this is taking us to the Giants Cafe. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can go down more. Oh my goodness. Uh, you can still go down. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Let's go back up. I didn't walk all the way to the bottom. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> I walked to the bridge and then it was so scary. What, really? Walking down the stairs. Oh, really? With right. a camera in the hand. 
and then not knowing how high things is and then as soon as you look at it, it's so steep and scary. My legs are actually shivering. I should have just taken the baby and let Lily do it. I like how that, steep was it like point? It was probably like the highest that was maybe like about 30 centimeters. 30 oh, or, really? yeah, or higher. Well, I felt like that. And then because I was trying to focus on the camera. Oh my god. But yeah, um, it, otherwise, um, um, <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> it's just cold. <laughs> this is how scared she is. <laughs> she has to hold on to the handrail even when she's on black ground. Okay, I have to say the handrail is bloody freezing and I had to hold tight on it. Like if there was no <laughs> handrail on the left hand side, I was like holding onto the rock because I don't know if I was gonna fall. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> anyway, all right. Um, it's a good walk. <laughs> we we recommend it. Let's do it. You should do it. You should do it. Next, we're taking the Prince Henry Cliff Walk to see some popular waterfalls. Our final stop of the day, some afternoon tea at the gingerbread house. Really hot. 
It's like a chocolate Ooh. croissant with a bit of cinnamon flavour, but it's hot. with a very nice orange fragrance with a hint of almond in there that you can just taste perfect balance for the whole cake it's really good that's the best cake fire just behind us we're going home but then you can kind of smell a bit of the burnt wood this is what you can expect in Sydney or Australia in general yeah. like are we actually going through it are we actually going through it I don't know well we're heading that direction Thank you for watching. Bye for now.